Hey y'all, this is Cheryl and thanks for joining me for another Watch Cheryl Scrap. Today I'm bringing you a double page layout and this is a layout for uh, Scrap Happy's members only layout um, a day uh, load 2019 and today is day 17 and my layout um, actually uses both the prompt and the technique and you can find those by accessing um, the members only area and that will give you your prompt and technique for today and um, you'll see that I use again both of those um, in my layout. I am starting out with two templates by Fiddle DD Designs. Just happens to be me. Don't always use my templates. If you watch my other Watch Your Scrap videos, I often um, start from scratch. But uh, I decided I wanted to play around um, with these templates. They were perfect for the uh, subject matter. Uh, so what I am scrapping today is a scrapbooking contest that I won back in 2009, which I cannot believe is 10 years ago. How did that happen? It seems like when I think about it in my mind, it seems like it just happened yesterday. But um, there you go. And I had forgotten a lot of details about the contest. And if I hadn't um, written a lot of things down on my blog when I posted the layouts, um, then all that information would, be, would have been gone because the site where this contest was actually run through, like many uh, digital and traditional scrapbooking sites, have gone under. Um, so I wasn't able to go back and see any of the forum posts or blog posts from that site. So all my journaling um, comes from um, my own, you know, memories from that day that I posted it on my blog. And I'm still, there's 10 years worth of content on my blog still. Um, anyway, so memory keeping at its best, right? <laughs> so um, anyway, the basic premise of the contest was, uh, it was for four weeks. There was a challenge per week and your peers would vote you through to the next week. So um, according to my blog, 37 participants were signed up um, to go through the contest and I made it to week four where there were only five of us left. And um, I think, think there was like another week or so between my final layout and then when I actually found out that I won. And the prize package for the contest was $150 worth of digital scrapbooking supplies, which at that time I was not designing templates. I was just scrapping and man, that, that came in handy. That was a lot of supplies. And so of course, I was uh, delighted to get that, but I think even more than that, having my peers vote for me um, to go on to the next round that they saw um, the value and the beauty and the memory keeping that I was making. It was just a, um, a really good positive experience. Even if I hadn't won, um, it was fun to um, get in there and think about things um, in a little bit of a different way, which is what I really love about um, Scrap Happy is I don't know that I would have ever gone back. Um, perhaps I would have. But I don't know if I'd have ever gone back and actually scrapped this about myself. So it's just... <laughs> Um, if you're just doing layout a day for the first time, you'll, I hope you'll find, um, you know, a lot of value like I did in um, meeting the challenges, seeing your photos and your memories in a little bit of a different light. And um, so that's what this layout is about here is me seeing um, my layouts in a different light. So that being said, I had thought 
that I would just put the layouts that I made for the contest. Um, I had originally thought that I was just going to do, you know, two per page and have it be kind of a horizontal layout. Uh, but then once I realized how much information I was missing from just my memories in my head compared to what I had written in my blog post about um, how many participants there were and how many were left in the final week, uh, you know, how I'd forgotten that it wasn't, um, I thought it was administration and peers that voted, but it was just peers. So all those details, I felt like I really wanted to keep on this page um, as well. So I did screenshots um, from my blog. Uh, now, when I scrapbook, if you watch any of my other videos, most times I will have a, a white border or stroke around my photos to give them um, some delineation for my papers and elements on the page. So because these are all white in the background um, I do feel like I need to map them and I don't usually map my photos so that's going to be a little different thing that I'll do here at the end um, so while I've been gabbing and chatting and and um, essentially being my own cheerleader here uh, I have obviously done a lot of filling in um, of the templates and I wanted to personally challenge myself this time not to use solid paper so you'll see a grid paper in the background of both pages and um, it kind of reads as a solid and so does the um, pink and cream um, arrow paper as well so um, I've layered up all, all of that is patterned and then as you can see here I am slowly but surely adding papers to each of the triangle pieces on the banners that are on these templates. So um, I had wanted to do more black elements um, than I ended up doing so uh, yeah I ended up deciding no I just wanted some of the black pieces in the um, banners and then in the elements themselves. Now the pages aren't going to um, completely um, match up in the center or the gutter where they'll be when I print out my photo books but that's okay they they look close enough to me um, that you know it doesn't it doesn't matter it still flows along um, you can see the you know two titles the title ultimate will be on the first page and artist will be on the second from my title so now I'm adding in some fun confetti because hey it's it's a party a celebration so um, the kit that I chose to use was um, actually uh, like a graduation kit and I used it previously for my son's graduation from elementary to middle school but I really love the colors um, and I was looking for something very colorful to go with those blog posts and um, the word art as well um, I just felt like it was you know uh, very encouraging and uh, so that kit is um, from Kristen Cronin Barrow and I think it's yay for you is the name of the kit I'll have everything the templates and the kit linked in my description box um, on YouTube so if you're watching this um, in an embedded site you can head over there and see the entire description so now I've um, yeah I tried to add black border I decided to go with the blue instead I like how that ended up looking and I'm just doing some little fine adjustments here uh, as I'm looking so I'm back over um, on page two now you can see all my just doing a little I, I want to have them separated a little bit uh, not overlapping each other you can see I'm just making some tea tiny movements here and there that achievement actually ends up moving up to the top where it says check me out because I add my journaling off camera as well as custom shadow work I don't record that process 
So I'm just giving it a final look over. And here is the final left side of the page. And you'll see a little bit of a close up here. And then the right side. I hope I inspired you to scrap a lane about yourself um, or someone you love that deserves an award. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next.